What's going on guys, CryptoHoy here with another quick update on Love Hate Inu. In this video, I'm going to share my thoughts on why I think the Love Hate Inu voting poll system is flawed. And it's basically for two things um, that I discovered here. And um, But before we jump right in, just real quick, welcome to my channel where I do crypto reviews and updates. And if you find value in this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet, so you never miss another video. So with that said, let's jump right in. So uh, looking at a little bit further into this project, into their uh, voting and their earnings and all that stuff, um, I gotta say that, yes, the, the you know, pretty much the platform looks nice. It looks organized. Their dashboard, it looks really good. I think it gives you, it provides you with enough information on it. But where it kind of is lacking or where it's flawed is on the actual voting itself. Okay. So I'm going to uh, just kind of go down here very, very quickly. Where is the FAQ area of it? And the question is, is it possible to manipulate the results? And their answer is voting is only possible for stakers of love hate inu tokens all votes are recorded into the blockchain via smart contracts and are immutable thus ensuring the veracity of the results and here's a problem with this they're saying that it's only possible if you stake tokens and that's why that's how they're able to ensure you know the accuracy of the results to make sure that is that is correct now the thing is that you know, the same way how, let's say here on Twitter, I can make a vote here, uh, let's say on their uh, poll on Love Hates Inu. And all I have to do is if I want to add another vote, I can just create a new profile or change profiles and I can make 10 of them, 100 of them. There's really there's really a like unlimited amount of profiles that I can make and just keep voting. The same thing can be done here or right with voting. All I got to do is just make new wallets. All right. I personally have at least 10 crypto wallets. I can just manipulate the results by just creating more wallets. And why? Because for you to vote here in Love Hate Inu, you don't need to be ID'd or KYC at all. All you gotta do is just have a wallet and hold uh, a Love Hate Inu tokens or just take them and you're done. That's pretty much it. So how can you really know the actual results of the votes when in that way, in that uh, in that form, it could be manipulated. Maybe this where it says where they're voted no, it could be like the same person. Okay, is one person voting no, but they're using twenty wallets. Okay, or they're using multiple wallets to create this result, which is manipulation. All right, so that's one of the flaws, uh, flaws that I found here on this voting system right now, currently with Love Hate Inu. Now, can it be changed in the future? Maybe they can make some modifications, probably, and require for the uh, voter to be KYC. Um, that could be a, a way to kind of ensure that each vote is equivalent to one person now one person being they, that one person sorry can make multiple votes all right just by holding multiple wallets but let's say that they overcome that now the other thing also that is a flaw is the next thing let's say that uh, you're unable to do that for some reason they're able to resolve this issue okay great that is fine all right now the other issue is this right here where it says why do i need love hate inu tokens and it says love hate inu is the voting token of the love hate inu platform the more tokens now listen very carefully okay this is the other flaw it says the more tokens you stake the greater your voting power and influence over the poll results love hate inu is also needed to create new polls all right now the problem with this is that they makes it it makes it even easier to manipulate. If before, let's say to manipulate the results, you can get away with just having multiple wallets. Now you don't need multiple wallets. Now all you gotta do is just hold a lot of tokens and stake them. So basically, the more tokens you hold uh, or, or that you're staking, and when you go to vote, it's gonna have more weight. So meaning that one instead of one person being equivalent to one vote, it could be one person being the equivalent of 10 votes, of 20 votes. It really depends how much uh, tokens you're staking. Because again, like I says here, the more tokens you stake, the greater your voting power and influence over the poll results okay so those are just a couple things that we need to keep in mind when it comes here um and again it's not 
KYC. And even if you were KYC, okay, let's say that you could only use one wallet, okay, and uh, and that wallet is you know KYC with one person, and you cannot use anything else. Even like that, you can still manipulate the results. Why? Because all you need is more tokens, and to stake more tokens of Love Hates Inu, therefore giving you the uh, the greater voting power and influence over the poll results. And then that will bring into question can we trust the votes then you know it's if the utility of this token is for voting how are these votes accurate and not manipulated results because you know you can just uh, as long as you hold a whole bunch of uh, you're staking a whole bunch of tokens you're pretty much going to be holding a big piece of the power here when it comes to voting so those are just my thoughts and, it, and feel free to share what do you guys think about all of this if you guys agree or disagree or what do you guys think about the utility of this token when it comes to voting um, about the if if they should require to be kyc or not um, or would you even trust them to do a kyc right because again they're not an exchange they're not a uh, a centralized exchange for you know to require or anything like that for, to be kyc or anything so um do you see this uh utility actually being useful for this token on this project or do you think the majority of people are only interested on the investing of the token than the actual voting or polls of this token again uh share your thoughts what do you guys think about this if you guys think that the majority of investors they are only interested on the pre-sale and on the invest uh, on the investing aspect of this token rather than on the actual voting uh poll or utility of this token share your thoughts down below all right guys thank you so much for watching if you found this video to be helpful and informative and you found value make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet so you never miss another video and i'll see you on the next one peace